Hey you two, we're back again today for more of our Essen Bonanza Explosion blog coverage here live at Essen Spiel 2017. Thanks in part to all of our amazing Kickstarter backers and these amazing companies down here. Be sure to click on those links and show them some love. But right now, we're about to learn about the game of parlay and we have Mehmet with us. Hey Mehmet, how's it going? Hi there. So what is the game of parlay? Uh, it's a secret identity game. Uh, you are pirates of the 16th century Mediterranean, and but you are secretly working for a nation that's ruling over that time. Uh, you want your country to rule over the over the Mediterranean. You want the, his their flags on the board, uh, and they will score on the scoring track. But while doing so, you have to be careful about your keeping your identity hidden. If you are too obvious, people might give you blackmail cards, and that's that's the real mechanism going on over here. Let's say. Let me intro let me give you about the about the scoring mechanism here. Let's say uh, at each time there is a there is an alliance card is up. Uh, this time the French, Venetians, and Memlux are attacking, and these guys are on the defense side. And we will with our voting cards, we decide which side to win. We, if we put shields, it's the defense side. If it's if we put uh, swords is the attacking side and the pirates we decide who wins okay let's suppose these guys won okay and their flags are on Sardinia and then let's suppose these guys and we put their points on the scoreboard one for yellow one for green and one for black and then let's suppose these guys won over Valencia this time Red gets one, Turks get one, French get one, and the black, this time they get two because they have additional points. Let's suppose this is the next time. Black will get three points because of neighborhood. One, two, three. Blue will get two, and the Venetians will get only one point because they are not connected there. This is how the mechanism goes. So you support for your country uh, as a pirate. It's a secret country. Nobody knows who you are working for. But uh, and you are voting for your country. But you also want your uh, intentions to be hidden because if somebody notices that I'm working for Spain, they might give me uh, blackmail cards. They will give it to me openly, but no one will know what this card is. And. The receiver will look at the card and then say, okay, I'm working for Spain or not. Uh, oh, sorry. Yes or no? Not, not, he will not mention any nation, sorry. If it's a yes, depending on the number of the tours, he will have to pay me with some silver. If it's a no, he will do nothing. He will just say no and uh, I will lose all my chances to blackmail him again. And more importantly, if I notice that someone else is Spanish, I I'm, I'm cannot uh, bribe, uh, I cannot blackmail them again. So I lose my chance with him, and I lose my chance with a Spanish guy. So I have to be careful about blackmailing. But it's a good way of winning points, winning points. Uh, later on, there's another mechanism you, that you can be an official pirateer. You can buy one of those letters, uh, and that will make you pay those golds according to the level we are on. And in the end of the turn, in, at the end of the game, that country will give their 10% of uh, score to you in gold. And also, if somebody is working for that country, uh, for some, if some pirate is working for th that country, that they will give 10% of the score as well. That's a balancing mechanism and a smart way to win points. So, in the end, your points are your gold that you take from blackmailing, your country's points, and your income from the pirateering cards. It's a very simple game, but it's very fun to play with because you have to be alert about everybody's moves. You have to be alert about what did they vote. And there are uh, manipulative voting uh, cards. It's, they are not just swords and shields. Like, say, this one is a little bit graphic, but if you play the last card, after everybody plays, you get to play again and decide the result. Uh, let me 
tell you about our illustrator, Kerem Beyit. Uh, he's, he's a big shot now. He's working for Marvel, etc. But it was 10 years ago we, we, we worked with this guy. He was very talented. We discovered him. And I think we cannot afford him now. <laughs> That's more or less like this. And uh, how many players does this play? Six. Uh, it's best to play with four to six players. It's also fun with three players, but the luck plays a much important role with three players. All right, and this is out right now, right? Yes. Just Where can now. people go if they're interested in buying the game? Uh, they should come over here. We are not online. Okay. We will try to be, but I'm not sure we can be. All right, very, very cool. That is the game of Parlay. And it looks like it might be your cup of tea. Be sure to check that one out. If you're enjoying this asset coverage, be sure to click on that subscribe button down below. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.